Hello everybody, so quick video, obviously you've read the title, um, Fiat 500 quick uh, diagnosis of the rear lights, firstly, if your boot switch doesn't work, just, just, just buy this section off of eBay at 70 quid, it will fix your problem, um, and if it doesn't, then to be honest, it still needs replacing because you need a new switch. Um, so, this boot does work, but only on the key. I have seen some of them do that for a while, then the boot button, because obviously people still use it to open it, will short circuit and cause a problem. As you can see, I've already got the boot panel off. Now, the reason for that is quite simple. So, if I turn the lights on, obviously we have the button that doesn't work. Lights don't work either. These are prone for breaking wires in the trap here. Quick, simple, easy test to make sure that it's not blown. Now, obviously I've got a test light, so this it's easy for me. One second. These are really handy. If you haven't got one, go get one. Even if you get the larger form of a test light, test lights are brilliant. You can do this with a multimeter, but obviously you can't load test it, but it will tell you if there is a circuit there. And if you've got power and ground, generally it will work. So we come under here, this is the connector. The unit's all in one, <coughs> literally. We can test this. Well, we already know that the boot opens, which is means that the ground is good because the ground and the power uh, there are three wires. There is a ground for the light and for the boot release. And then there is a power that feeds the other side of it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use this test light to check to see our, if our wiring integrity is good. Now the bulbs that this has in it are the small cylindrical ones. Uh, they are these ones here so if you're wondering that is the bulb you will need and as you can see there are five watt this bulb is also a five watt so it will give us 50% load on this circuit which should tell us if there's any problems now the black wire this side is the ground don't know how well you can see that let's zoom you in a second so you've got the black wire, there's a white wire and a yellow and green wire, unenhanced. Now the yellow and green, as you can see, does actually go into the right hand side even though it looks like the white. Um, so it's the yellow wire that is the power wire. So we just stick that in that side gingerly. And now if we do the same test with that bulb, and I'll even get the try and get the stalks and the ignition and everything in shot for you. So, side lights on, it is on. And if we pull you back out, you can even see clearly the bumper, the side lights are on. So they're all on together. So you can see we've got all three. All on. Yeah. <coughs> like I said, if you've got a bad button, chances are it's all in that unit. So. You come under here, and this cover is just a fabric one, carpet, liner. It is held on with lots of these little holes with a plastic push clip through them. A simple trim tool will remove them. You can do them with a screwdriver, just be careful not to stab yourself or anything on the vehicle. Then you can do a quick test here and see if that circuit's good. If that circuit's good and capable of carrying power, like ours is, that means that inside that unit is a fault. The reason these go faulty 
is just because inside of this unit here, obviously you've got your wires and connectors, and it's all open nickel, nickel copper connectors. There's no waterproofing. Water literally runs through the inside of this boot. And I can show you that because this one's actually been outside and it's been wet. And it's just got water in it. And water does just pull through the back of this. Now obviously it's relatively well sealed because it's only got the holes here for uh, the bolts. But there's no sealing on it and obviously it's got the locating pins. So water does run through here. It doesn't matter what you do. Water will run through it. <coughs> and it's just an age thing. They just get ruined over time. Uh, like I say, if you have got a boot switch problem, I would just go on eBay and order this section and fit it. It will at least fix your boot switch problem if it doesn't fix anything else. But the problems, because they're all on the same circuits, are kind of all related to each other. Um, it's just an age and time thing. Things deteriorate over time. Uh, this one's only got 90,000 miles on it. <coughs> so... It's not like it's high mileage, but it's just an age thing. So get that replaced. Uh, the customer is actually going to replace this one himself. It is a straightforward job. There's no reason he can't. And that's as far as I'm going to go with it. He's going to replace it himself. I'm leaving the trim and the boot there. I've put his plastic clips in the center console and he can fit his own. So as I say, you could I have one of these. I actually have a higher powered halogen one there. It's more like a four amp load. I have this one. These are cheap, about 10, 12 pounds each off of eBay or Amazon or, you know, the, the, the usual scumbags. That's the same type of thing, five watt test light bulb inside. Uh, you could earth that to the like, boot check, boot uh, catch latch on the bottom of the car there. And then you use that. Uh, I prefer testing the powers and grounds at the whatever I'm testing itself just to make sure. Because if, if you test one but not the other, you, it's a 50 50 shot, you've got it right. So testing both at the same time is easier than testing one than having to test the other one separately. But that wraps that one up a little Fiat 500. Quick video. Hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.